Uh, hey, do you remember when, wanted, like, exactly, you know? man. Do you remember when I was moving office? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he helped me move office. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, Jesus, he is a he is a machine. I had one day to move the whole office. Didn't <laughs> that I? was some nightmare. Literally man. running up and down two sets of stairs, two down sets across, of stairs, up, up another two <laughs> sets. Of stairs. No way. Yeah, with boxes and boxes. And the box. books about that. Too, and the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's Alan, bad. Alan, I have to ask, were you on speed? No. <laughs> he was, was going fierce. I was on something man Welcome back to Everything From Not and our first episode of 2022. I hope you all had a lovely time, all of the time, not just for Christmas. I hope you have every day is Christmas. I hope not, actually, because Christmas no, sounds very stressful for a lot that, of people. Yeah. You hate Christmas. I hate Christmas so. and I don't even like saying it because um, it's Did just... Because it, it, it makes it, you sound like a big misery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. it makes everything dated. It's like I hate decorations, you know, decorations around yeah. the house and shit like that after Christmas. Up to Christmas, it's not I know what you're saying. It's yeah. like having a hangover or something. And like, like all the lights are... That's such it? a good yeah. description. Yeah. It's a hangover. It's like when you, you've had a oh, really good party, but you, you, had, haven't, you haven't cleaned up. It's the morning after and you haven't yeah. cleaned up. Yeah. Like you've had a house party, everyone's come and wrecked and it and you have, you're left to clean and it up. And there's yeah, ashes in the cans, there's ashes in the cups. Oh, that's horrible. It stink. Yeah. So, um, yeah. happy summer, everyone. Happy summer. We're getting there now. Well done to everyone involved. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we appreciate it if you press the subscribe button. We appreciate it anyway. But we appreciate you twice as much if you press the subscribe button. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah. H how have you been, Haley and Hughes, you know, over the last month? All right. I've been yeah. angry. I've been angry a lot. Angry yeah. a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been toing and throwing. Yeah. I've been back and forth. Dilly yeah, dallying, yeah. like. Yeah. Dilly dally. Have you? <laughs> Where? Where did um, you dilly dally? No, I went, to? I took, um, my mum came and picked the child up and I went and picked the child back up from England. Oh, very oh, good. That's, that's true. nice. Did the whole performance of the fucking PCR test. Class. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Exciting. Yeah. Dilly. <laughs> and was yeah. the airports dilly. quiet and stuff, were they? Yeah, they were pretty quiet. Um, yeah. Was it an ordeal or was it fine, all that? Uh, oh, it's a fucking, uh, it's an old, it's unnecessary to me. It's unnecessary. I don't really understand why we're fucking doing it. It's a ridiculous expense and mm. I just, I don't really, oh, don't really see the point. Um, uh, how, and we're actually back for the first episode of the year and we're joined by Alan, who was the first mm. episode, who was our guest for the first episode of last year as well, which oh, is yeah. cool, yeah. keep it tradition. Um, we had Alan on for an episode. If you haven't seen it, a lot of people have. It's one of our biggest episodes. Uh, thank you, Alan. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, it's the episode's call. It was a 13 months sober because you were 13 yeah. months sober. Yeah. How many months sober are you now? 26 months today. It will be, yeah. I think that's that's good. mad. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a clap on this. <laughs> that man. No, that, that is amazing. And it's so cool to hear. And it's so it's so cool to do this. Genuinely, um, you know, I've seen interviews before where people are similar things but it's really cool like to have someone back on again and just be like it's another year down like it's really cool and you're, and you're looking like you're looking fresh like you are like and um I yeah and it, a bit of weight, but sure. well, you know you're looking yeah, you're looking like, fresh happens doesn't it yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, i get older too we just start putting on weight like, yeah yeah, yeah. Your body's changing anyway you know? but, but it's but like you, like how many years were you taking drugs and stuff for since it was 12 13 so your whole metabolism has now got to like reconfigure and change yeah. like mm. it's a massive adaptation which doesn't mean it's going to be like yeah it doesn't sound like uncontrol it's just like a sort of but it probably has it that you know wouldn't have adapted and then it's like just a case of now working with a new sort of system sort yeah of, like, like it's yeah, just yeah. everything all the body signaling and stuff we adjust and we adapt yeah, and everything yeah. like that but like i mean like you said it's like that's a tiny i actually issue. noticed it's that something you can address and solve yeah oh, yeah yeah Something I have to watch though, and a lot of 
people in recovery are the same. Yeah. Food, you know, because yeah. you can't comfort mm. eating. Mm. Yeah. You can kind of get carried away of eating. eating the thing is, that, that, like, it's like you're, because it's that you get the same hit of dopamine. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're chasing exactly. the dopamine and sugar is a really easy way. Exactly. To you get know, the dopamine I love hit. drinking fizzy drinks and that. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. And if I didn't, like, I haven't, mm. <coughs> I've kind of stopped now the last few weeks, but I've kind of felt like the calm down from, mm. like, Fizzy the drink. lack of sugar. Do you know what? Oh, Do you right. Know? So I'm eating, like, apples and that, mm. and just the natural sugars and trying to just eat as healthy as I can now, but. Do you know what I got yeah. addicted to after giving up cigarettes was fizzy water. Fizzy water. Right, and what mm. I used to do Never liked that. Yeah. No, I me neither. I didn't you're, like you're right. Water. I You're did. right. <laughs> you know what? I don't you like it at all. <laughs> with um, loads of like fresh lemon juice in it, you get that acidity, uh, which yeah. gives you a kick. Hit. And um, busy. or I was told a good one as well. Uh, just pour it out into a glass, and if you have like some my wadi, you can mix my yeah, wadi. In yeah, it yeah. Or, or just normal you, orange juice. Mm. Like if you feel like you want a fizzy drink, it's yeah. almost like you're getting a fizzy yeah. orange. But, but mm. you get cold. Do you get what I'm saying? If yeah, you get yeah. Fizzy water and necker. Even though I didn't like it, I still used to get this dopamine hit it's mm-hmm. like in a head rush yeah and um that it's probably just something to do with the carbonation would it be I like probably yeah, i don't know the hell but it was like it was a naked cold <laughs> and when yeah. i was dying for a cigarette or something yeah, like that yeah. the next thing poof, your head it'd be a probably a just your way of a light yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. it's like that prickly feeling it in is, your mouth is, is so intense yeah it's so intense the whole thing was yeah. so intense it was i was doing that every every mm. night on the way home mm. yeah. neck and that's my water yeah. how has the last year been for you alan uh you could Challen- dis- challenging. Okay, I was going to ask you if you could describe it in one word. So that's a no, good. geez, I wouldn't be able to describe it in one word. Yeah, yeah. That I've opened a lot of downs. Yeah, um, yeah. Just battling with my own head, I suppose. You know, um, yeah. Haven't really had much cravings <laughs> as such here and there. In terms of the drugs and drugs drink. and drink, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I haven't really had much cravings of drink or drugs, but um, yeah, just battling my own head, my own head, like you know, um. There was a close friend of mine who passed away as well. Mm. Christmas of um, Christmas of last last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I actually met you at the funeral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, he, thoughts of me and his friendship came yeah. up a lot during the during during um, during the year, you know. And I kind of it, it really hit me, you know, um, last year. So it did, you know. Yeah, it, for sure. Just was... remembering that. From like I know him since we're small kids, like you know, yeah, the child, like the he was he was my childhood friend. We lost contact and fell out of touch for a, a few years, like because he moved away out of Taurus, and it was the best thing for him, you know. Yeah. He, he met a girl, and um, I they went back to her her hometown, but um, yeah, Jesus, um, just mental health in general, you know, it's it's yeah, it's not um a subject what's not really talked about enough and that and i know you're doing some great work yeah yeah of with course the, um no but the, the, do you know you, you've some things out in um cabra wetlands is it yeah well, we were trying to do workshops to yeah, Crawhig, yeah. uh we're crawhig kind of a different to the podcast but yeah it's like crawhig we're, we're trying to do workshops and stuff like that because i i do i do think people are like yeah starting to talk about mental health but more so the differences are not doing it about it do you know mm-hmm. what i mean so i think now every now every you know, the difference was in Ireland, even 10 years ago, not everyone knew someone who, like, died by suicide or anything like that. Now, like, next to everyone surely does. So now it's like, okay, we've all established it, but now it's like a case of doing something, like, taking, like, actual yeah, action. Yeah. like not, talking about it. it. Yeah, as well as keep talking about yeah, it. But no, 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 yeah, no. sorry, but, like, you know, what you're saying, like, Open yeah. Open up to people. Exactly. Don't be and, um, afraid to... Um, yeah say what's on your mind you but know? it's about solutions yeah. as well like you know there's yeah. so people sort of don't really see solutions it's like talking about it is sort of seen as the solution but it doesn't doesn't really solve no no and anything then, it doesn't give you tools to work with and yeah. so and then people turn to dr- drugs and that's playing like th- that's fucking yeah. up their head as well like you know yeah. and then yeah, you're kind yeah. of you, your you, your mind is full of mixed emotions which you don't know how to express yourself yeah you know what i'm saying because you're kind of half lost i know when i was in addiction like i was like so down and depressed and just i didn't want to be alive i was real suicidal like and i had no confidence no self-esteem just didn't i just didn't um see any hope for myself you know and it was very scary for me (laughs) yeah 
I didn't talk about it. Yeah. Because I don't know. I think we we put on an image. Uh, I think people put on an image of themselves as well, and they kind of don't want to let their guard down or show the weakness side to them and a vulnerable side to them, which you can understand. But yeah. I think the only way of talking, to be honest with you. you know? And, and you, like what you're saying just makes me think of like the catch 22 of that is like, because where you see the most prominent amount of like, you know, because like, when it comes to addiction and stuff like that, the, you know, when I, I guess the stage where people are having suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, often in, um, I'd say, majority cases, you're talking about like uh, majority uh, of, of um, not just males, but in that situation, I, from my experience anyway, was like guys who who you know because in ireland guys are already not uh, okay with their emotions but then you're also talking even more closed in and more worried about talking uh people in like the drug scene or i wouldn't call it the drug scene but like people around each other like because you're all taking drugs because there's a part of our emotions that we you know even my experience when i was as well like that we you know, and we're not talking, we're not here to talk about our feelings, we're here to do drugs, so it's like, even when things weren't do good, you, when you were, when, when you were coming down, you are, and you're done coming down, but the space between taking the drugs and, and going doing it the next time, you don't talk, like, I never really talked to those people, because we, we'd not interrelate later, we'd only hang around with each other on drugs, so, definitely, and when we're on drugs, then we're having too much fun to talk about, <laughs> you know what I mean, it's like, you're, you're on a love boat, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a really catch 22, yeah, like, it is, it is, um, yeah, but yeah, year's been definitely challenging for me. Yeah. yeah. Would you say that this year has been more challenging than last year or just different challenges? Uh, different challenges, but more more challenging, <clears throat> if you get me. Like yeah. the first year was like, I was getting a lot more cravings for drugs and I kind of thought mm. about more. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Kind of, and it passed. Yeah. But say last year now was just more so my mental health, you know. Um, yeah, feeling fairly lonely and mm. kind of, I don't know I'm thirty years of age and, you know, I've I've worked two jobs since I came came into recovery and I still don't know what to do with myself and I'm just just kind of in a place where I just, I don't know what I want in my life, you know. But yeah. I know mm-hmm. I know I want to do is like I know what I'd like to do is to help people and mm. something along that lines. And I I need to kind of look into it a bit more and that, you know. And, mm. But yeah, I just you know just don't know where I'm at or that's just, that's the single biggest thing in mental health is when people don't know where they're headed. And they don't, don't have, have any idea, yeah, of where their purpose is and what their future yeah. focus is. Yeah. Because if you know where you're headed and you want to get there, you will get over any obstacle that is in your way. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter how hard it is, you still have direction mm. and you still know where you're going. Mm. When you don't know where you're going and you're faced with those kind of obstacles, it's just like you're fucking swinging in the wind or something. Oh, like, it's, 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 it's horrible, to be honest yeah. with you, you know, because... You feel like you've come so far, but then you're like, yeah, do you know, you're like questioning yourself of how, what you like, you're kind of questioning yourself of like, like you always want to better yourself no matter what. Mm. And I feel like I could, I could be doing better, but I don't want to be too hard on myself either. But I was just going to get what I'm saying. Yeah, Yeah. Like people in recovery are told to not get into relationships for two years. Um, not really to go into work and okay. straight away because the stress mm. of a job, the stress of a relationship, uh, you know, yeah. just them kind of normal things in life, yeah. I suppose. And you just kind of have to go with the flow. But I find I found that the the work did help me because we we're on a lockdown as well. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The work definitely helped me. Like. And what was the work again you were doing? Was Nick the construction? I was in a. I was in, no. I was in oh, a. Co- I was in a carrier's. Oh, for right. A crowd and um, called G- GLS. Okay. I was with them for, Jesus, I was with them for seven or eight months. And then I yeah, left yeah. them, kind of had a few weeks off work again, and then went back into working in um, a cladding a cladding company to make cladding boards for yeah. um, houses and that, you know. And yeah. I'd done that for a few months. Yeah. And then I just started getting um, really down on myself. Do you know? Yeah. And it has, I have got down, like, don't get me wrong, I've got down. I have been down a lot of times 
in the past two years and it has passed yeah, you know yeah. yeah but it wasn't it wasn't passing it was sticking around and yeah. I, I was coming to the stage where i was actually struggling to get out of the bed to go to work yeah and that's when i know i'm not in a good place like, yeah. do you know what i'm saying of course so i just packed in my job the supervisor wasn't really um i don't think he was a nice person or yeah. a nice uh yeah. Good didn't person. make it any easier no he didn't yeah, he actually made yeah. it hard you know yeah i was going into work trying to better myself and try to do an honest day's work mm. but yeah i was feeling like shit from him and i'm not just blaming him no either. i know exactly yeah because yeah. i was battling me on you're just describing mm. your experience and why Ex- it was exactly hard. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah yeah and yeah i felt that i don't know that the fact that i wasn't from cork maybe had a yeah. part got to do with it because mm. there was only four or five uh four or five team members on our team like and they're all they're all from cork and they all clicked like and i didn't really feel like i clicked with them do you know yeah because i'm quite a quiet person and i'm not the most approachable person too but um i'd always listen to someone and i'd always have good time for you know yeah for people like yeah yeah but um yeah just yeah it's been tough but look i'm still here today yeah Um, Still clean and sober. Mm. Yeah. Never thought I'd... It's... Honest to God, it's mm. it's overwhelming. Yeah. That you're to, see, to see where I was oh. over two years ago, like... Yeah. yeah. I was a complete shell of a person. Yeah. I was... Honest honest to God, I had no confidence. I couldn't look anyone in the eye. Mm. Uh, I just... My self-worth was just to the ground. It was just shot. Yeah. And... It's still a bit bad, don't get me wrong. Do you know? I still I still suffer with it, but not nowhere near as what I did yeah. before, yeah. you know? Because I believe in myself and, yeah. you know, I know that I've done a lot of bad things and, you know, we all have a past and, but I know there's good, there's goodness in me and... A hundred percent. And, um, yeah, just getting, just gaining my, fam- my, my family's trust back and just normal stuff you know like yeah. my mother was telling me that she had a chat with me a few weeks ago and she says alan she says i can't believe how far you've came she says it's it's crazy to see where you were a few years ago like but we, i used to like your own mother saying this to her, i used to hide your runners so you um i used to hide all your runners so you wouldn't go outside mm. because i was i was scared that something would happen yeah, yeah. for your mother to say that like mm. and you know obviously i have thought about a lot of stuff i've done and the stress and pain I've put my mother and father through, but it's just really puts things into perspective, I suppose, when um when you're when you're in a better place and you can actually you're able to analyze it and register it yeah. and see it yeah. a lot better, like. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Does the distance of time like between you and the drugs, maybe two years or whatever, does that make it feel does that could be more strength like, does it or is it always the day or is it always the same? It's. Does it, it does give me a bit more strength, but yeah. it's always going to be there. Yeah, I have to live with this like yeah. for the rest of my life, you know. But people, we 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 kind of trained really early in life to look at what we're not doing, where we failed, where we're not achieving, what our deficiencies mm. and weaknesses are. Actually, we we have it our way with that. Like we should be looking at what we have achieved and where things have gone well and all of the good stuff. Because that gives us a much more balanced view. Yeah. And instead, ev- all the focus is on what's shit and what's not okay and all the failings. But yeah, they're kind of important to sort of go, okay, that's a fact. Like you said, you know, those things did happen. But what about all the stuff that's gone with that or come since then? Like That I gets t- really neglected. Yeah. It was like, I took drugs to hide away my problems all my life. I wasn't, I couldn't live in my own head. I could, I, I, I just couldn't. I didn't want to deal with my problems and the things I've been through, you know, and we all have our own story to tell as well, but the stuff, stuff I went through, you know, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, neg- I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I'm not trying to put pity on myself saying that. Or, no, you just, you know, you're allowed to say that. You're absolutely allowed to um, express out that. Like. And I've learned that. It's okay to it's okay to be angry 
yeah. over things what have happened to you and yeah. things you've been through. You don't necessarily have to forgive, but you you just come you you get a better of understanding to it and definitely you kind of don't hate yourself as much and you yeah. know you start to believe that you know that life is for living and yeah. you don't want to be in um a shadow anymore you know yeah making peace making with pe- yourself peace. and stuff is yeah. like, making peace yeah you, know? you don't have to forgive you don't have to be all fucking loved up all the time with life and everything no, but no. just to make peace it's like that you know a tie break works do you know if you can just kind of there's find a, level with it there's a saying and uh there's a saying in recovery um God grant me the serenity to accept the things. The serenity I, I actually got yeah. that in my arm. Yeah. yeah. When I got 12 months, when I was 12 months clean and sober, I got that in my arm. I said it for each 12 months. Oh. There was people saying to me now, uh, geez, Alan, what if you relapse and that? And, you know, that's going to <laughs> be there the and they're going to be looking at <laughs> that's it. And, that's good. That's fine. I know, but... Uh, that's uh, not good. But like, what the fuck? Who's saying... Why are you people saying that? But, that's but mad. Him. But even if I did relapse... You still have that. I'd still have that. Exactly. And that would, that's important. That would be... Yeah, it's cool of yours to have seen it like that. Do you yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? No, no, though. I agree. Oh, you're all under like, right. So it's people a win-win. saying that. It's like. a win-win but situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually interesting though that they said that because it's kind of like... Leave, leave a window open for yourself think, yeah, so that well, you can relapse. <laughs> well, I yeah. didn't take any. Yeah. You know, you know. that window and got yeah. the tattoo. But yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. didn't take any. Like he did them. I'm sure. No, I didn't ownership. because. Yeah. No, yeah, I yeah. Just, you can't. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, you, know, you just yeah. can't. But like, just yeah. even looking at that sometimes and yeah. just kind of it refragment it it it, it 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 goes through my head again that Jesus. Which shows commitment as just, well. It does, but there's like. Forget the things you cannot change. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't yeah. change the things I've done before, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I can only try and make them better. Yeah, yeah. Well, Give yourself the courage and to get through it all and, yeah. you know, get I, some wisdom. And, yeah. you know, it's just mm-hmm. a very powerful tattoo. Like, And I, I think as people just and all that is we have such a bad habit. It's not talked about anything in school or young age. Like we have no conception of like there's a thought like when you were when you were born, you absolutely did not have the intentions to do anything bad to yourself, to anyone. That's a fact. Well, I would like, you no know, wanted to be bought into the life an addict, like, or. Yeah, exactly. To know or to, I don't know. So that's why I'd say is in that, I think many <coughs> people can understand that. Like, it's no baby is thinking that, like, when they're born. Like, but so, like, that to me means, like, when you look at life, we have such a bad habit as, like, this whole, like, people what they do or who they were a year ago or a few years ago as like who they are and they're not taking like the reality like the reality that i see is you're only who you are presenting yourself to as right now yeah my experience you nothing else exists so like we have a bad habit of holding on to like grudges. different versions of ourselves and grudges. having grudges on others and all and, this stuff that and keep that's us it's mad that you say in, that in the because past. there was a lot of people who wouldn't have saluting me or even taking like they would have called me whatever and they had yeah. every right to like but they wouldn't have even saluted me and i like i've noticed like since i have become clean there's a lot more people saluting me now than yeah yeah than yeah. there was ever before yeah. you know and it's kind of a hard i don't know it's it's a nice thing it's, it is yeah it's a yeah. nice thing to for people to see the kind of the goodness and is, how far yeah. you've come and they're just not judging you from what you were before but yeah, yeah. saying that people for instance i've been in out of trouble all my life with the guards and hmm. they would have you know i wouldn't have been able to walk down the town without them stopping me you know hmm. from from a young from a young teenager up until the last few years even you know because yeah i would have been on their list to get you could hmm. say yeah you know? yeah and Did they have you chipped? <laughs> I don't think so. No. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were um, they were they were always out for me. You know, it was kind of embarrassing being, you know, um, searched in the middle of the street and you having to yeah. take off your fucking socks and your runners and you know people looking. But yeah, they're only doing their job too. At the end of the day, yeah, and yeah, I. You have, you know, you have to give them some sort of. Um, you have to give them some sort of um, understanding, understanding yeah, towards yeah. it, like, and yeah, you know, yeah. they're only doing their job, and they're yeah. trying to protect the people of around 
around Tarlis and And did you ever meet you know, those guards now walking down the street? Huh? Um the odd time, yeah. yeah. Just, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> one of them I was actually going to the train station there a few weeks ago and yeah. there was a kind of a young young enough guard there, he would have kind of known me yeah. from the last couple of years. And yeah. they probably would have been my worst years, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fair right. And um he stopped me and he, he was he was being nosy you know. Yeah, yeah, you know he yeah. was happy to see where I was to yeah, see where yeah. I was at in life but he yeah. was being very nosy yeah asking me a lot of questions yeah. you know and I just knew like you know I was just wasn't yeah. really answering him yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know he was happy for me but yeah, for I yeah. could see through him like you know, yeah, you know no, for sure um he's st- even though he still even though he's seen me for the person I wasn't I, I he, I hadn't came into their attention in years and yeah. you know yeah. a lot of that is good as well but in my mind I still think they still think I'm the same person well, kind of uh, because because uh, like on what I was saying that we have a bad habit of not letting go of like you know I was saying I can see you as how you are now and that's all and you're struggling with seeing like maybe sometimes you might see different versions of yourself and might upset you that you did this or that in the past uh, people do a massive disservice to society to humans as a whole uh by holding on by always holding on to other people who they are i have a bad habit but all of us have a bad it's a hard thing to shake off sometimes like um i think we just naturally do that for those reasons protection all these different things there's reasons why people do it i've understand for that as well but like we we need to have like especially when you're working in sections like that it's really important for like guards who were dealing with you in in your bad states to acknowledge that like their that example is such an example where they, that if they want to the one of the best things for you or for you know the streets or if if that's their objective is to help uh get crime off the streets then if someone's doing good tell them when they're doing good don't just lock them up every time do something bad if you're having troubles with them and stuff but you see them doing good call it out because i guarantee you they'll never give you trouble the next time like yeah, or that well, for instance like 2018 the end of uh or was yeah uh, would have been um the end of um in around the end of 2018 um or 19 19? 20 yeah 2018 i was actually up around up around my home house and it was an evening time and um i was looking down at my phone and i was half i was stoned out my head yeah I wasn't paying attention and next thing I know my car just pulls up in front of me and you, uh, the car then tries to um, detective tried to pull me into the car yeah but uh, I ended up getting out of my jacket I had a really long jacket on and I ended up <laughs> I don't know how I got it out like yeah, yeah. I ended up taking off up the road yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I had a bit of weed on me or whatever and uh, yeah. it was in tinfoil yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going to hop in a big fucking 20 foot wall. Yeah. But uh, before I hopped the wall, I just threw the, threw the weed into a garden. Didn't think he seen me. Yeah. And um, they ended up catching me anyway, dragging me off the wall. Yeah. And they ended up finding the, the tin file or whatever. Yeah. But um, just going on that, I was actually, I was up for that um, offence there a few weeks back. Yeah. And. Um, I went. I went to the case anyway, and it was sport, like it was only up for hearing or mentioning there in Tarlis, and then it was going to be in Nina, say a week or two later, whatever. But um, the one or two guards there, um, the judge asked, you know, the judge seen all my all my references really and everything I done, you know. Yeah. And um, seen where how far I was after coming. And she says, I'm actually going to deal with this matter. And the guards, to be fair, the guards actually, um, they spoke highly of me. Do you know what they yeah. said? I hadn't came into their attention and that mm. from what they knew, that's I was sound, doing yeah, well. Yeah, that's so I was quite, I, I was actually very, quite um, happy and pleased over over that, that they yeah, kind spoke of, up for you. That, that just really spoke sound. up for me and yeah, they just didn't throw me under the bus. Yeah, cool. You get me? And they noticed as well. Exactly. So the judge noticed. says, Do you know what? I'm going to deal with this myself and I'm not going to bring this to Nina court. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. And she ended up just striking it out. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. That's the last of my troubles now out of the way. Thank God. Know? That's so class, I can man. Move on like. Yeah, free. That's, that's can, massive. I'm a free man now, you know. I can mm. move Do you, on with my life because throughout all my 
pretty much through all my years in addiction, yeah. I've lived with the stress of having big court cases hanging you know, over, hanging you over every me, minute. Like, yeah, no one are thinking yeah. I was going to get time, and I'm very lucky. I'm probably not in prison at this moment at the time. Yeah. To be honest with you, because I've had a big few cases, and you know, done a lot of bad things, and yeah, this is just mm. madness, like. Yeah, yeah. Like you would, you'd see it in. You wouldn't even see it in a film. It's that. Man. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. You know, it, honest to God. No, I, I understand. Yeah, getting free of all that and clearing all that oh, path must be great. It, man, it's it's pure stress relief yeah. now. I can actually just finally focus proper focus on myself and see where I'm going. And it was getting rid of the drink and the drugs your path to that, or what was it? It or? was no. To be fair, yeah. um, the drink. I was, you know, I spoke about this in the yeah. podcast we did last year and drinking was kind of my addiction, in my younger years of life yeah, yeah. and kind of through bits and drabs of through my older years of life. Yeah. And all my trouble was through drink. Okay. I was never in trouble taking drugs or okay. anything like that. I got caught with like big but amounts. You of just grew out, out of your mind from drink. But, but it was just always the drink what got me into trouble, you know. And like the drink just brought out the pure evilness in me. What was it like? Was it like kind of like nightmare or dreaming or walk sleep? Uh, what you mean? Like no. What's your, mind, what's your mind like when you're out? With your mind would drink like. I don't even know, man. You just, just don't remember. Madness. You don't remember. It's just man. Like I, I, yeah. most of the times, I blacked out. Like yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah, been straight. Just up. lose control. Just basically. lose control. But yeah, like the most nicest person you'd meet without drink. The most yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. mad, yeah. Evil, vindictive, fucking with bully drink. with drink. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad to have that behind me. But yeah, um, yeah. It is, it is. It is true though, as well. Like even par- parties, you'd see what like. You know, like it's it's always like the the drugs, um, drugs drugs are like one thing or something. But I've seen, I there's yeah. definitely what some don't talk about, like how drugs they're all illegal or whatever. And maybe that's good, maybe that's not. I don't know. That's up for everyone else but me to decide. But uh, I do know one thing, and that I've seen far. I've been around a lot of drugs and a lot of people taking <coughs> drugs, but I've been around a lot of people drinking a lot. I've seen people do way, way more fucked up, crazier shit on ju- and drink. And then you mix drugs with drink, then that could be a whole other thing as well. Oh, yeah, but like, yeah. that's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that like, no, nothing happens in drugs. I'm not saying that at all. Loads of bad shit happens in drugs all the time. But what I am saying is that people don't, like, they're just not acknowledging, like, like, for, like for how instance, you can go into carry or wherever. And, I'm going to say this and mm. as much as I am ashamed of myself yeah. for it for happening. Yeah. It did happen, and there, um, at the end of my addiction, I was on a bit of a a drinking. I was on a bit of a drink, uh, binge. Yeah, uh, I was drink. I was in the pub all day, or whatever, and um, yeah, yeah. I was after taking tablets as well, along with it. I had a heap of money on me. Yeah, you know, I was grand. Do you know, yeah, well, yeah. money wise, I was grand. But I was walking home there one evening and. I ended up bump stumbling stumbling across an old fella who had a bag of cans. Yeah. And I ended up assaulting him. Yeah. Robbing his bag of cans, his wallet, his tobacco. And um Yeah, ended up doing that and I didn't really have any recollection of it like Yeah. Know, and was that one of the things that went to That was court? Like, uh, yeah. And yeah. Thank, thank God, like, you know, um, I had the proof to say that I've changed my life around. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I've done a lot of work on myself. It, it it just wasn't got to do with, you know, trying to wonder me way out of court either. And that, you know, I like I hit me rock bottom. And that's and that was when I was at my rock bottom yeah, was around yeah. that time as well. Like, Can I ask you a question? Like, so when you think back to that time, like what? When you think of yourself now, you think back to that time, you know, often there's a sensation of like, can't even like um, compute of how that was you. Like, is it, is it weird to think back at that time and just feel like, because it is nearly like, I've even experienced this that where you nearly look back and you feel like you're possessed for a moment or something. Like how? It's like something, 
it's like something came over me, man. And yeah, so I can't even remember it. Exactly. Like, yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. fucked up thing yeah, about yeah, I yeah. can't, I, I can't remember. Yeah. I had, I had a, a good fucking couple of hundred euro in my pocket. No, re- I had no reason to do what I done. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it is, yeah, and that's a, and that's a massive point because that's the thing. Yes, that's such a big point is like that, and that's where you do come into the mm-hmm. thing of like. Where the drugs have completely over, because there's no logic. Behind exactly, it's not because you had I money. And this out, and yeah. Like, oh, I need money for drinks. It's not like drugs. I need money to get I, food. It's like I had money. You had everything. I, yeah. I, like, do you know what I mean? I didn't. Yeah. This man was just minding his own business. Yeah. And yeah, it was just probably one of the probably one of the worst things I probably done in addiction. Yeah. Which, you know and. Even thinking back of it now, like, to know, and there's a big part in me, what kind of, I do kind of hate myself for it, like, yeah. but I've learned to kind of forgive myself as well, that that wasn't the real me at the time, and, you know, yeah, I said yeah. my sorries, and, and I gave him, you know, I gave him his money back and that, and I know that doesn't, no, kinda, like, he's left with them memories, yeah. you know, and he was just person minding his own business he didn't need me to yeah do what i done you know but that's just that just goes to show you the the power yeah drinking drugs yeah as in people and what you can do it literally know? controls you like it yeah. do you think that like the the kind of residual guilt around that because yeah there is a process of like forgiving yourself but there is still times like when your mood gets low or like mm. you know you're just not having a great day you haven't slept well for a few nights do you find that 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 kind of residual level of, of guilt impacts your mood. Yeah, it does, yeah. It would. But... Of course it would, yeah. It would. Yeah. You know? Because... How more, d- more times or not, I've probably slept on a ground in addiction, do you know? Yeah. yeah. More times or not, I probably was fucked up out of my head and fell asleep on the side of the road, do you know? So, like, and when you, like, when you don't have a, st- when you have no stability in your life, things just become a lot harder, I suppose. Isn't how, it? like, how have you gotten over, like, a lot of that guilt and kind of worked by speak- towards By that? speaking about it and being open and honest about yeah. it. Yeah. Because once I say that and someone else says something, I'm not feeling half, well, I'm not feeling as bad as what I did feel before I didn't say it because yeah. there's people who can relate to me and people, yeah. mm. like, do you know, I, like, I've heard a few mad stories from people, like, what they have done through it and... Yeah. Fucking it loads kind of, it's of mad, mad stories. No, like, there in is my like, job, Jesus <laughs> Christ, like, the stuff we <laughs> it's, hear it's, is, it's like... It's fucking, it's fairly... But it, it's so important. On, like, it's so important because when you say that, because until you say it out loud to someone else who gives you a story back, in your head, you're demon and you could be demonizing yourself, calling, like, thinking you're a monster and that, like, how could you as a human do that? But you say it to someone else and then they tell you something back that can be... 10 times and you're like all of a sudden you're like oh and then you hear loads of people say it then you you know see just people the stories are all like this the difference is like if anyone thinks this is a, a, a story they've never like is that nobody talks about i promise you from my experience i know loads of people who've done stuff way worse and, yeah. like the and they're lovely is, people and they're lovely like, people and if it's not you and it hasn't been you lucky fucking you because you never yeah. know it could be but anyone like, at any time there's so many people who are, you could be in a group and you might be ashamed or scared to say what say what you did or yeah you know what happened and yeah. then once you hear some one person opening up about it and then you say to yourself do you know mm. what he he just said it that's why groups that work, I, yeah. like I aa can, and na and stuff i'm going yeah. to say it now and you give yeah. them the courage to mm. yeah and then it just gives people more positive, makes people more positive in themselves and make them see like that that wasn't them at the time. Yeah. That was the drink and the drugs. And I'm not just blaming it on the drink and drugs, but mm. they're mostly the biggest fat part and fact of it. Like, because mm. I've like, I've never hurt anyone when I'm sober. I've never, yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? It's not me. Like, do you know, when you're I'm, you, I'm a quite yeah. soft person. Like, I, yeah, yeah. do you know, I am. A yeah. patient described it to me once, like, like to make the separation, like, you know, to say, he said, to say, um, it's not me, it's the drink and the drugs is 
It's true, but it's also half a cop out because you did the drink and the drugs. So therefore, it's on you to control your use of yeah, that stuff yeah. it's because yeah. you know where it's going. So it's like it's, that's I, I, the bit that's. But it's like, I agree with that. But the only thing I think is, okay, let's not stop there at that question mm. because the next question to me in my head is, well, why did they take the drink and the drugs in the first place? Yeah. Because society is not built is not using everything it has and all its resources and abilities and <laughs> intelligence that all of us have an influx of of resources, everything that we have to just build a better mm. place where people can do creative things, mm. people can do other things and not do drink and drugs. I know. That's the main question is why do people, I think that's the main question is why do people do drink and drugs? It's some people, um, but do, like, do you ever feel I mean, some people like just don't react well to drink as well. I have a good friend like who, yeah. he's grand, like he's yeah. a lovely person and if he has a drink, he suddenly gets contrary yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? it brings out people's sorry. emotions what? and the bad yeah. and it, you know I, mean? I, I don't think it's him either like it's not like you say oh, that's he, what i'm saying yeah I, the, like, he's he's not like masking it when he's sober and then going no, out people you know, yeah. it it's like, differently like he's allowed yeah. to drink and he takes drink he goes what do you mean by that and straight, <laughs> yeah, away, yeah. straight away i go fuck it's time we, to go yeah, oh. yeah. I, we have the opposite thing in um in our family what my sister would be a fairly heavy drinker for a lot of years and the thing is she's actually so contrary and difficult to manage when she hasn't had a drink that everybody's tolerated her drinking over Perfect. the years because she's Perfect. easy as a beer at. she's a good drinker yeah. then it's just, yeah it's just yeah. like everyone's like oh thank god she's got a couple of drinks in her yeah, you yeah. know it's mm-hmm. just like it shouldn't be like that either no yeah I, yeah I think it's, it is like it actually feels like the person like it, it always felt like the person's possessed like what you're saying as well that they wouldn't be like that oh. is, I used to there's a famous thing that everyone would have seen on Bebo in 2008 it was this it was like probably the first ever meme on the internet I didn't was, see it. Uh, it was probably uh, I don't even know if it was a meme it was like a, 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 an edgy quote or something like that it was uh, a, a sober man a sober uh, a sober man uh, hides himself or something like I can't remember what it was but it was like a drunk man speaks the truth or something like that that's not always true no. that's complete bullshit I, I like you just so many people I know like or if I got drunk where you're speaking nonsense you're doing nonsense you just become nonsense mm. like to say that bullshit a drunk man speaks the truth no, if, he doesn't. Or, or he lets out the truth it's complete mm. bullshit like mm. they they just they're speaking it is like they're possessed like it's like they're yeah. they've embodied something that they're not or and just, then you meet them the next day and they're mortified yeah and they feel arguing with you over yeah. like what color the wall is or something stupid like that yeah you know that what you said about like not sort of not really having much direction or purpose yeah and things that also has a lot to contribute to kind of why people use drink and drugs in the first place that's yeah. the, one of the biggest you know I and mean. if if it is if but that's already there from an early age well addiction is in my family you know so yeah, it's a mine as well. Mine as well. Yeah. yeah. But the funny thing, like, you can't just say, oh, yeah, do you know, because it's in your family. There's yeah. many people who, like, there's many people like yourself, yeah. it's been in your family, but you, yeah. you're you not, um, you're yeah. not, you're not uh, an alcoholic or an addict, like, no. do you know. So I think it's. Um, that's probably a look of the draw, though. But, isn't it? but people have tendencies. Like you, you have a tendency. So you're born with a genetic tendency. But how your genes play out depends on your environment. Yeah. You know, so it's how you live and the things that happen to you and the choices that you make. So all it, it doesn't mean your genes don't dictate that view of DNA is is old now. Mm. You know, all your mm. genes do is they carry a potential tendency and how you live dictates what, what genes yeah. are expressed and how your life is yeah. lived. And I would say mm. that the biggest influence as well, and you would notice a pattern between like the why, if it's in the DNA or if it's in the family, the why do some people don't, some people do, is probably to do more so. I think it's less to do about the, the, the makeup and the DNA, but more so to do about influence, like where, but where, 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 there's a difference between it being in your family and hearing about it or, or living in a household where you f- come home and find your parents with a needle in their arm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it, it's, that's, if, if you're around it, there's like, it, that's where a massive influence, like are you seeing your family do the drugs or is it just a thing that they're addicted on the side? All that stuff. And that's the main thing as well. I think it's so, everything has to be case by case basics. Trying to figure out this one sort of set answer is kind of like nonsense to me it's um you need to look whoever has a problem and talk to that individual and figure out i i i think the the like when you were saying about like why it hadn't happened to you like it's back to the purpose thing like if you when did you start going to college for an architecture what age were you 17 
like could you say that if you never done that like like could you say for sure you never would have found you know what i mean like you found something earlier that you went for so did that have any to be honest with you no i'll tell you what um i think i was quite lucky in, in a couple of ways yeah. Um, one was I was allergic to loads of regular drugs. Okay, right. So there's no point. Just allergic. He, you're yeah, just allergic I to was drugs. Allergic to, I, was tripping out, well, I was tripping out when I was four or five on penicillin and ampicillin. And <laughs> okay, I right. Yeah. The walls coming in on top of me and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was supposed to wear this thing around my neck. Don't take this drug. Don't take that drug. <laughs> a thing around your neck? Yeah, yeah. Like so in bell. case, yeah, no, this kind of hey, what? thing. Uh, if you're ever in an accident. It's like an allergy type. Yeah, yeah. You so, have like oh. on a little so if pencil. you're picked up by an ambulance. And there be No, it's just a little allergy alert. Oh, right up in an ambulance that they don't give you all these drugs oh. so if i'm allergic to all these things just, that have been through all these tests and stuff i was just thinking dodgy dave's little concoction there isn't going to be any better for me yeah than doctors no. so yeah. that kept me so Dad, I was dodgy, par- dodgy dave used natural yeah cocaine. i was at loads of parties in england where everybody's getting off their face and i'm just looking i'm going am i missing out i don't know oh okay so, yeah, but i went to yeah. all the raves and all the kind of crack all around england and having right crack but yeah just stayed away from the drugs basically yeah, so it's um, like so that was probably why. So if I wasn't allergic to the drugs, I probably would have had more more, okay, yeah, more yeah. of a chance of getting addicted. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, um, it is, and that's the thing as well. Like that's such a specific thing, mm-hmm. and everyone is so different. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's I, like I think you can just get like lucky. Like I, mm-hmm. there's massive addiction in my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm one of those weird people that can like pick up a cigarette and just yeah. have it like yeah. a few times. Mm-hmm. You know, I might have like a couple in a week, then not touch it for like six months or a year. I might mm. smoke for a week if, you know, there's some event or something going yeah, yeah, on yeah. and then not touch it again. And I've done that since I was about 15. I would have loved him to be able to do that. Cool. It's, yeah. it's mad. Like, I, like, you're doing well if you can do that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? Um, I, I, in, that, in that sense. And I, I did my. But like, I've seen, you know, the. My cousin was horrendous alcoholic and in, in trouble with police and like, his, you know, his, mm-hmm. we've seen kind of how that's played out with him and in the family mm. and stuff like mm. that. And it is just like, you do fucking look and you go, all I used to think was like, thank fuck, that's not me. Like, thank fuck. Because you, you don't know, you can't pick it. No. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's no, just how it comes out. And you know? It's where your mentality is at too, kind of. Mm. If To know as well. Definitely, yeah. You know, I think if you have a bit of get up and go about you at that, at at a young age, I definitely had that's that. So <laughs> and that probably helped you. That definitely well. yeah, yeah, yeah. would, you know man. I mean, I yeah. didn't have that. Like, yeah, I, 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 that wasn't attractive to me. Mm. No, I had that from I when I was about three. Making people laugh and <laughs> feeling like shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. inside, like, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. But that's what I don't know. It's For me, it like that purpose thing is the mat like. I literally would like I'd be off my head right now if I wasn't for the pod. Like that's a fact. Like I was doing like the po- po- podcast and everything. I started. Where it was like fit working and trying to put on my own events. You know, like doing drugs led to me going to loads of events and then wanted then you know then ended up which inspired me to actually want to do the events. But which led into like all this stuff and creative stuff. But I was doing so much all the time, like just like a stupid amount. Like I, but I actually was trying to stop like cycles of and shit like that and i know the addiction is nowhere near it and like that but it actually took me a while to realize that addicted and i've loads of friends that don't realize it's an addiction and they start to realize it but when you're taking it every day it's definitely an addiction when you need to take it to like that's literally it like when you and we that's were the very I was, definition but yeah like I, that, and i was like whoa i was doing that and it took me and that's when i once i realized that I was just so blessed to have like the sort of at the same time start to creep into the realms of having things to do, the purpose. And that's like with the whole Krohig thing. Like that is actually one of the inspirations um, for Krohig and all that was because uh, and I, that's why that's why when I think of this, when I think of all my friends who who have such creative abilities, who have so, could do such, such amazing things, but are caught in that cycle that I was caught in, I, when I think about that, I get up and I start working on Krohig more because the whole point of Krohig is literally to help with that, to help people have the opportunity that I did, which was to find your purpose or, you know, because like, and even, mm. and not just for people who are dealing with drugs, because as you said, you're not, the the addiction side is kind of gone for you, you don't have cravings, but you're dealing with... The mental... Yeah, other stuff. And all of it, even for you, to some degree, I think every uh, everyone's mental health addiction or anything can be solved with that purpose. Oh, with definitely. Provide... Yeah. A, you're definitely doing a good thing then. But like, yeah. and, and, and like, um, the one thing I was thinking as well, like, I, I think you said something like, you know, sharing your story, people came up to you after the podcast and stuff. Did you ever think about like... Uh, 
and it's like maybe a hard thing to do but just if you ever just feel like your mind is going like on not and like to to I don't know, like just structure is there a way that you can not maybe write a book or anything like that like did you ever think around it like how how are you because you you're passionate about sharing your story have you thought about how you might could do that that might be purpose if that makes sense future focus kind of. <laughs> yeah but i don't know really you know Even yeah just I, I, like, to be honest with you that ha- that has came into my head okay Even yeah some of your facebook posts though like when you're yeah, having a bad man. day you post about it and mm. you're just like yeah i'm struggling today but that's good i only yeah. do it so that someone class, who is man. having a bad day that and the comments reflect that yeah like, i mean it, yeah. and, it and makes, that's only a small amount it makes me f- like i get so much i get so much like of a buzz yeah I'm just kind yeah. of helping someone yeah you know? and if it, it, even if it's in the smallest of way yeah mm. like I had, I had a friend that um who i went to treatment for and he was 22 what 21 or 22 he was quite young yeah and i was like jesus fair play to you for doing coming in here and just doing uh giving yourself a good chance yeah to yeah beat this addiction at a young age and you know you've a good head start yeah and he was doing well for ages and then he moved he moved away abroad and he rang me then saying man i'm after relapsing you know and mm. uh, i i said to him these things happen i says i relapsed many a times over the years you know yeah and it's it's a part of life i said you know the thing is what you have going for you is you're young you're you're motivated and you know he, he there's a lot of potential in him you know yeah and I've seen a lot of me and him when I was his age as well. It's kind of mad, you know? Yeah, yeah. But um, I just told him, start from the start again, basics, do you know? Just mm. do what you have to do and just staying away from people, really. Do you know? Yeah, that that's the biggest thing, like getting yeah. out of the town. Like, there's some people who, like, think I'm almost, like, I don't hate anyone, like. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I don't have, like, I have time, I have time for everyone even people who are in addiction yeah but of course i wouldn't be spending me time with them people think yeah. you're judging yeah. them though then, yeah exactly they? like and and you're looking down about, on them and but like, then some of them would think like well, and, you, and you, you think you're better than me and yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and it's not like that at all i, yeah. I if anything, actually i'd love to help you and yeah love to see you do well in your life because i know what it's like and how hard it is to get out of cycle and my cousin, yeah. road, like, my cousin went on to be an addiction counselor yeah yeah like and he worked i've met a few people yeah i met a few people in um when i've been in treatment centers yeah who are actually counselors yeah. mm. you'd make a good counselor. you would counselor. Yeah, you, would. you would be a you'd good be a counselor, counselor. Yeah. Ireland. Uh, yeah. <gasps> yeah yeah you would. i tell myself that but then there's like that self-doubt you know oh, yeah. would yeah. I be but, able, but there's a process when you I are be able to there. like i know i'd have to buckle down and study really hard and yeah that's not one of my strongest points if I'm to be honest but, but if, I, if you have that drive towards that it doesn't right. matter nothing will get in your way that's it like, you don't like my motivation hasn't been the best as well and that's mm. something I need to work on mm. but, the, but definitely so like even in saying that like you know we all think you'd be a really good counselor you know, like and and that's like something you'd love to do um, but right now you're going through if you just all you need to do is have that at the back of your mind that that's a possibility and or that or that you could write a book that's I, it and then people leave it have said that to me and then some yeah, people yeah. have said oh alan it's a lot to take on you're taking on a lot of people no but that's that's but not true know that. yeah yeah, yeah like you, as in you kind of are because no no for it's sure it's not like a job where you go to and four o'clock comes that you forget yeah about it. oh for sure like, or sure you're after listening to 20 30 people it's being hard in. that's like, what i'm saying yeah yeah hard. yeah there's a sense of they're like there's a buzz from it though yeah. that you like you feel do you know what i, I helped one person out of the 20, yeah brilliant then i'm doing good or doing my job somewhat you, right there's definitely like a boundary that you have to maintain like i've been doing that kind of work for a lot of years now and you know it it it's an area where it does you do get prone to burnout like because you hear so much stuff that you definitely reach a point where you're just like fuck it like that's you know and i i always have this big thing that like i feel like stuff working in mental health should be a limited number of hours in a week i feel like it should be only kind of part time yeah. or like yeah. three days it's a week so because it's so it's draining too fucking it's much. so mentally like, draining because man. then it ta- you know because you do like you get 
it's really good to be able to help people and like it's really good kind of helping people piece things together for themselves and mm, mm, mm. and the change is really like it's so positive to see and even that is kind of addictive in itself do you know like oh, what yeah. seeing people yeah. do that but then you know there is definitely a point of overwhelm where just as human beings you know if you don't regulate it and you don't get enough time out it can really get on top of you and yeah. you know yeah there's a real good buzz to it for enough years but you know it's something that you have to just pace uh, yourself with. yeah yeah, yeah. suppose and how do you manage like you know when you said you get like the low mood and stuff what strategies do you have or like how do you approach it because obviously there's going to be other people listening here in your situation definitely yeah. i always the first thing i kind of think is there's always someone worse off than me right do you know so that's one thing yeah do you know so and then just come on snap over now do you know there's something yeah. off do you know there's someone worse off than you and you're complaining yeah about, yeah going through something something so small what which, which yeah. you need to help yourself to just walking and just just do normal things yeah do you get what i'm saying so and it really is it like, sounds boring yeah like, but and it is boring but it's the most yeah, yeah, yeah. simple it is thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Get up yeah go for a walk yeah going for a walk is oh. fucking huge uh, it's like <laughs> i like going by uh it's only 20 minutes on a train from from cork city to cove cove is low oh, yeah. I get, and my i only live across from the train station so it's it's, it's fairly handy like you know yeah, yeah. it wasn't hops on a train in the summer it's lovely oh, well, man. cove is nice Even anyway because it's oh, all yeah. it nearly feels because everything's painted like so exactly vibrant and yeah, i don't know just surfing again Alan. yeah definitely what? definitely yeah. definitely up for that yeah. um I always say to people, like, have a little bank of, like, pleasurable activities yeah. that you can do. And, like, you know, it's not always going to be the same one, but if you have, like, four or five things that you know, you might not feel, like, mad like it at the time, but it's mm. just, like, if that's just a thing that's fairly easy for you to get up and do, like you said, you live right by the train station. It's easy for you to get up and go and do that. Yeah, and, exa- and we can get lazy at times. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can, like, I, I'm, sometimes I get, I'm, kind of getting sick of not working now you know so that's yeah. my next i need to get yeah. back working and sometimes I'm, I'm feeling good yeah. enough now to know, but sometimes those jobs aren't you either alan like it's not it, it wasn't you the problem there like as in i worked yeah. in a job that was awful um in, McDo- in mcdonald's basically where i felt like god i'm very stupid um like wait it was the day manager night manager the day manager was horrible and the night manager was nice um, but the day manager made me feel like I was so stupid yeah, that's all, the, all the time. They'd go, yeah. Hugh, uh, Hugh, are the toilets clean? Did you clean the toilets it really loud? He's probably the prick who's the there the last 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, yeah. Uh, he doesn't lift a hand and do nothing. Yeah, she but said, are they clean? Yeah. I said, they are, yeah. She goes, are you sure? I said, yeah, yeah, they are. Because if I go down and find that they're not clean um, and you didn't tick the box, the, you're, you're in for a caution. It just went on and on and on. So, um, it, but like that went on for ages, this undermining. So I go, God, I must be really stupid. That I can't do this McDonald's <laughs> job. Yeah, yeah. But like, and uh, you assume the problem to is me, you. To me, a job's a job, no matter what mm. your occupation is, yeah, even if definitely. you're sweeping the fucking yeah. road. Yeah. Uh, well, people mm. can make you feel stupid. But you, st- yeah, you ordinary sh- st- stuff. Like you well, is can, and it's hard. Yeah, it's very yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. No, you'd, you'd, you'd feel so shit in yourself. You would, yeah, yeah. I was it, working as a cleaner before I went to medical school. So I was living down in Brighton and I got a master's degree and I couldn't get a fucking job for love nor money. Yeah. And I was cleaning in people's houses and I'd clean for years like mm. to get myself to university and that. And when I left, the guy whose business it was, he was, he was a dickhead said um what are you gonna do then like you know where do you think you're gonna go like and i was like actually i'm going to medical school like i'm gonna be a doctor and he just flat out laughed in my face that's and i was like fucking probably like half he probably was like half jealous and fucking half definitely i think he i think he just thought i was talking absolute shit you know actually as well another one is a a doctor in turles told me about working in a factory in turles growing up I said, what was it like? He said, oh, it was tough. I said, well, he said, he remembers your man, you fool, you fool, shout yeah. at him, you fool. And he's a doctor in Turles now. <laughs> yeah. He worked in a factory in Turles. But like, so people make you feel I like when you're not. Do you know, with that job, just like the one you just quit, like, because yeah. it does seem like, yeah, like the part of you at the start was saying like about, you know, your man might have been the most inviting, but you were kind of stepping around it. But can I ask you like, because I want like, that's so true because, uh, 
if you were to imagine that you were doing, I just want to imagine, right? So, so you never met those guys, but you're doing the exact same job, but you were doing it with us here, and we were having conversations like this, and even more light, funny ones, like. Yeah. But with us, the four of us here, would you have quit the job? Probably not. No, mm. that's your answer then, because yeah. he's. You have to feel comfortable with yeah. people. Exactly, and he's yeah. a worker, by the like, way. It goes a long <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, it yeah. goes a long way from just someone just. It's being half fucking yeah. decent yeah 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 kind of half yeah. caring about yeah it, even though you know but definitely definitely yeah like, it's not that i wanted praise and then i no, wanted this no, and that man no it's just you want to feel the, just comfortable feel where you're part of yeah, yeah. the group and yeah uh, hey, do you remember feel wanted like exactly you know? man. do you remember when i was moving office yeah Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he helped me move no office. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, geez, he is, a, he is a machine. I had one day to move the whole office. Didn't <laughs> that I? was some nightmare. Literally man. running up and down two sets of stairs. Two down sets the of stairs. Up, up, up another two sets of stairs. <laughs> no way. Yeah, with boxes and boxes. And, and the box. box about that too. And the sweat. Poor <laughs> <laughs> office. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan, I have to ask, were you on speed? <laughs> he was, was going I was on something man. <laughs> I, was I was supposed to have moved out of my other office two, we two weeks yeah. ago and I knew the landlord was on the way down Even on the morning, train yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I said Alan give me a hand quick I'm supposed to be gone two weeks ago <laughs> that's right I was just happy to help man. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's class I was, I was, more than likely I was probably after losing some money in the bookies or something like <laughs> <laughs> no you were just uh, that's bad. Did, yeah, there was some there was some running done that day, wasn't there? Yeah, stop <laughs> I actually I remember it like yesterday. Yeah, and that yeah. was a good few years back, wasn't it? Was, it was, uh, yeah, it's about seven years ago, eight yeah. years ago. We could all start doing that. That'd be good for our mental health. If you're, we all move just office. run up and down. We just move Hugh's <laughs> office once a day. Like, yeah. we'll all go in there and fucking yeah. Yeah. be good for yeah, running funny. around and stuff. But I even, like, remember I, um, like, I worked, like, uh, like you know, festivals at, like, a, a main stage. And there'd be all these, like, cool bands or musicians and like that. Uh, people, that sounds cool horrible times because that's where most of the dickheads are like that work there because they're all pretentious like oh i'm the manager of and most actually they're not all the time but like i'm the manager of the stage of the cool band so they get like pure delusion all that and then then but then you know a week before i could have been fucking literally just shoveling and but i was working with someone who is real fucking sound and lovely so yeah. like what is like a dream job to me it was like a dream you can have your dream job where you want to be a doctor you want to be an architect but you ended up with people that you know found it hard to work with and stuff like but like so the dream job i think can never be your dream job until you're with like the first thing is not the job itself but like the community around it like and mm. yeah being in a group so definitely, definitely man yeah. don't give yourself a hard time no, on like no, I won't. that's a just, just remember that's a big part of it there as well and yeah you know my happiest job was working in a shop a grocery shop it was the best i still look back and i meet yeah i meet the two girls that i worked with oh, as yeah. well yeah just oh sorry yeah go on go on okay but um i still meet the uh two girls i worked with like and with the crack we had was the best just laughing that's yeah. class yeah but my my For best sure. job was yeah. working in a health food store well yeah when i did my brilliant. first degree it was fucking brilliant you, everyone used to love going in there we used to get so yeah. excited that's like, class like, worked, the saturday when everyone was in it was fucking brilliant that's savage we used to, yeah like the stories we had and uh laughing and mess and health inspectors coming in and yeah. it was kind of like faulty towers the whole thing you know what i mean All yeah yeah wrong and, Fine. Over to Stevie's intro music. What? <laughs> 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 but, um, I was all confused yeah. then. <laughs> Mad like finding mice in a sweet jar and all this while the customer is there. <laughs> 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 Stuff like that, you know. That's mad. I remember I used to work at um, <laughs> riding stables for years. Did you, yeah? And, um... Right. Yeah, I remember me and my friend doing the horse feeds and yeah. there was like something sticking up out and we just thought it was a piece of like barley or something, yeah, like yeah. a stalk of yeah. something. Yeah. And my friend's chatting away, she scoops the feed out and she pulls this thing up and a fucking rat was on the end of it. It was oh, a rat's oh. tail. Was it alive? No, dead. Dead, oh Fucking no. dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a, yeah, I had a mouse in a, in a packet of, or a, back, a tub of cl clove rocks. This old lady went to the... I mean, more loves them. A quarter of yeah, clove rocks, and uh, the girl went to weigh him out, and she kind of let a scream. And she goes, "Hugh, would you weigh him out for her?" You know, and I said, "Yeah." And I look in, and I see there's a dead mouse inside. Me. Oh God, go away! Which I didn't know what to do. I just put over a quarter of clove rocks and let her Wait, off. Do you want the <laughs> you owned the shop before, did you? <laughs> what were you doing in the sweet shop? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't own any shop. I was just working one. <laughs> Uh, it was a bit of crack, like, but... Uh, Josie Fogarty's not. No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. Alan, do you think you're going to stay down in Cork? Forever. 
Popsicle. Oh, no. I don't know. Like for Popsicle I like to I like to think I'd stay down there for a while anyway, yeah. another yeah. few years. Do you yeah. know? I, I I do like it down there. It is yeah. a cool place. It feels it? nice just. To, I like to be able to walk and kind of no one knows you, and yeah. you can just just um just kind of uh, blend it. Blend into all the crowds, you know, yeah. and no one takes any heat. Yeah. Mm. There's no pressure. Uh, it's just Tarlis is just too uh, too many bad memories here, and mm. it just wouldn't be good for my mental health. Of course. I even feel like just being down here for a few days is enough. I just yeah. want to <gasps> head back. I just want to head back, man. Do you know? Yeah. Cork, Cork is beautiful, uh, and uh, it's really good at Bohemian atmosphere. Just, lovely cafe. The Cork people, the majority of the Cork people are actually sound. They are, really, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. they are nice people. Yeah. Yeah. Cork, yeah, majority, yeah, it's actually a lovely place. I love in around the city. It's probably one of my favourite counties. Me too. Man. To go oh, to. Yeah. I don't, I'm not really too keen on um, Dublin or, no, either am or I. that, oh, you no. know, but um, yeah, Cork is nice. And I love the English market. And love yeah, walk, yeah, just yeah. walking around there, <coughs> soaking up the atmosphere. I'm now one of the weekends. I will, yeah. We go for coffee and go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I know all the spots. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I will. Yeah, yeah. That'd be class. Is uh, Karen breaking up the furniture there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want a yeah. screwdriver there? Right? No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, um, Phillips. Yeah. Have you found, like, what we've talked about so far? Has any been, like, a really sensation of, like, has, do you think it's kind of helped, like, talking about... Did you ha- How did it help you last time, actually, when we did the last episode? Like, did it, did it help at all doing that? Like, it, I felt... I felt a sense of achievement, to be honest with you. Hey, yeah, it's mad that you did like, it, to be honest, man. It's, it's class. Mad, but it's impressive. Like, honestly, man. if you would have known, like, if you would have known me a few years ago, yeah, yeah, I would have been the most I socially. Did know you, I did know you a few. Socially years. anxious, <laughs> awkward. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I have no confidence whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. like, for me to do this, it was just like class. Reaching, yeah. Like jumping a, b- a hurdle yeah, yeah. to get. Yeah, it. yeah. I was proud of myself. Um, mm. Got some amazing feedback for two. Yeah, yeah. Got one or two bits of bad feedback true, as well. Constructive or Con- just mean? You, you could say it was constructive. Okay, Someone right. Said, oh, you should have gave yourself longer. Okay, you know? right. And I just said, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. after getting a, a lot of good feedback from it and p- there's people after reaching out to me and that's yeah perfect. do you know what i mean so your opinion don't really matter but yeah <laughs> one or two you're never gonna th- please everybody no no you know, and right. it, 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 one <laughs> person one of the people who said it was someone who what i expect to say it yeah. Yeah, yeah do you know it's like they're trying to get in my head or yeah. something yeah. yeah you gotta be careful to get of me, of but the, yeah. the i knew i did a good thing you did a really by, good by thing. doing it yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what i wanted yeah. you know yeah. I, I felt so proud of yeah. that's you, man no. normally i'm the one that absorbs all the any negative comment we've ever had in the podcast is specifically towards me and my abilities to talk apparently <laughs> like people like what does someone comment well, it's, not an easy, easy, it's not an easy thing someone call me a stuttering you know? fool or something like a stuttering okay. clown or something um, <laughs> yeah you gotta be I, care, he said he get, someone said this yeah. watch this uh, i love the car i think they're funny yeah. but because i someone commented on uh izzy's episode saying or this stuttering clown going uh but uh yeah uh like that and i tried to type it all out and i was like i was impressed that i could read it when he was going uh i was like <laughs> yeah i do do that like he's right like but on the other hand like where do people fucking get off like know. honestly like what well, I, I, but like, what? like i know the person typing that's not I you're know. doing a podcast you know what i mean like, <laughs> so, so i'm not angry yeah. but it's okay but like, there's a it's funny thing. Leave. You, you gotta be uh, careful of the loud minority so mm, just because people fact. say uh, something to you, like that this is bad they're usually the minority and very minority yeah but they're the loudest yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's yeah. like a rule yeah. in everything it what's like trending on, on twitter head. is that not is trending on your household so i promise you there's a lot of loud modes of metting yeah. In, uh, treatment centers even. Yes. Mm. and they, t- no. they take over the thing the yeah, loud they, minority they're like Mr. Yeah. Recovery and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. That and so, yeah it's true man and they could have relapsed yeah, fucking, of but yet they're judging you because you're not doing yeah. meeting yeah. or you're not doing this or you're not do you know what I mean it's all projection but that's the thing in everything as well like in business or whatever so if somebody tells you your price is too dear you say to yourself is, is it too dear are they the loud minority? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. You, and it, that's true and everything. Probably or whatever, sting yeah. You over. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It does yeah, yeah. I got this quote off yeah, someone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? yeah. Well, once you ask, start asking yourself that question, is this the loud minority? Uh, you actually be okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's, a good, that's a good way of putting it. With the voices in your head. Exactly. You know, when you're having a bad day. Yeah, yeah. Like the loud minority. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, yeah, that's one thing I was learned as well. Yeah. Like, I don't care what people think of me anyway. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Honest to God, like I don't, and I've I've become better of that as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have like that's people true. being judgmental and that just doesn't really, you know. And that's yeah. why I'm not really a people person too, to be honest with you. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like to do my own thing. I'm not really a people person. No, I'm too not. fucking hard. I just. Ah, they're not. People aren't that bad. Don't get me wrong. No, <laughs> that I way, rest and I want to join. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. that, but I yeah. just like. Uh, I, I feel like I'm. Mm. You know, I love an old, <laughs> I feel like a young man trapped in an older man's <laughs> fucking. Yeah, body, yeah. Like, you know. That's a good way of I've always yeah. been like that. You know. And yeah. Do you know, what I would do though. I always take. I there's not like I was like I didn't care what everyone said but if i i wouldn't like with that stuff i, I actually like that those comments i think they're i genuinely think they're funny i separate myself i just think they're funny but when it comes to like if i if i met you in the street and like you found me drunk or whatever and you just you know you came up you'd be like jesus that's not how you are in the podcast i don't i don't like i don't like how you're being right now then i then i would care what you, then i'd care what you think you know what i mean so you're doing it from like love or a good place or you're doing it from you're doing it from a good place i'd have an understanding though mm-hmm. too yeah do you know what but yeah. even in a specific just kind of like yeah if it's like when someone that if someone that i i'll care what people think if i trust that person do you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. if i yeah why don't you say that um uh i've met a few women now and um Few of them um, have, you know, had a few drinks. Yeah. And mm. obviously, I wouldn't be drinking, like, but um, yeah, it's just mad. You just see them change, mm. you know. And it's just like, why am I even with this person, or why am okay. I even around this person? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like someone because you don't get me wrong, nice or people, but then they just become loud and just would it be like someone you're seeing or something or just yeah, kind of yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah. That, yeah okay you know, yeah but then i just i don't know i kind of have a guard up anyway do you know I kind yeah of, do you know i kind of find it hard to trust people and i'd imagine it'd be really hard to be with someone who's drinking at the moment oh, as it well. took me like, ages. yeah it really took me a long time to even talk, to be able to talk to a, a, a woman um sober you know okay yeah yeah the time i've met a woman over the years i was always stoned or drunk and i had yeah the most confidence ever like, yeah 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 <laughs> it wasn't really like yeah but, um, yeah just adapting to, to different things you know but um it's becoming easier now that's cool that's you know, really cool. I, I find i'm less less nervous and more kind of positive and kind of just yeah a bit funnier you know yeah i think once you're a bit more elastic you can just kind of be yourself and let the guard down, you know? Yeah, yeah. Rather it's than kind of like being stiff and you get watching more what you're saying. familiar with yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you get more familiar with yourself. Yeah. Because you become, you're you most of the time now. And you're becoming more, like, comfortable in your own body and yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Life is mad. It is. I never thought I'd be here, you know, over two years clean and sober. And, uh, That's class. Doing a really. podcast. Doing a second podcast. Do you know what? Alan, do you know yeah. what? Like, do you know we, we knew you would because uh, we said a few weeks afterwards, we'll get Alan on again for the first week of we next said, year. We, yeah, said, we yeah, literally yeah, said yeah, that yeah, a yeah. year ago. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So we, we, we said that like a week. I was I, after, I actually, it was like a week after that episode, we said yeah. we we're going to do it. And I wanted to say it here then, like, I talked about in the car the other day that, like, it would be cool, like, if, you know, because we talked about saying, like, getting you, like, if you could start off the show, we were saying we could have Bono on and whoever could be trying to come on, but we still want to start off the every year with you. <laughs> and hopefully then that's, like, something for you to look forward to measure your progress and keep you motivated yeah. and shit Bono like that. Bono like, following week or Bono, Bono next week, yeah, <laughs> you're first, though, 100%. Because um, it'd be cool, like, yeah, because that, like, you might be, I don't know, like, a or a measurement for yourself like not even I for a fucking i'm i'm open-minded now yeah, that's you know, cool i don't um i'm more i'm not more open-minded and yeah. more positive than i was before yeah you know? cool. I, uh, I was just thinking back of like you know um all the good people i've met and yeah and that and it's just it's nice it's nice to be around good people you know yeah that's um, cool I don't know where I'm going. And it's nice to have a memory of them and not have been so off your fucking head when you met them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not waking up and I'm not rattling. Like, mm. yeah. don't get me wrong. I do suffer bad with anxiety, mm. but yeah. it's 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 manageable. And hey, here's here's another thing. You know, like I know you can't do a whole lot with the pandemic and all that crack at the minute, but um, 
when it's all over and all that kind of like would, would you like going traveling again like definitely would you go to argentina and all that kind oh, yeah, i'd love to go to um, yeah. my father's country over to chile chile I mean. my sister yeah my sister done it a few years back she yeah. traveled a lot have you ever been no my father chile. hasn't even been back has he not since he moved over here and Jesus your Jesus. grandfather was like well known over there wasn't he you know like, mm. like, yeah he was like we've been trying to get your father on the podcast yeah, he's, he's harder to get than bono i've been trying yeah. to get him on for yeah, over yeah, two yeah. years yeah i've had i've had like big musicians message back and he's it's no getting word We're from him. Get <laughs> <to> <laughs> I, I know he's busy he's out with time like, I, I met him in you nina probably while like back. fixing the car before you yeah i know yeah i know i know i don't even see my father much yeah 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 and i don't um yeah. But um, yeah, he's busy. But yeah, I'm but sure he will. Like, no, he, he is. He's mad up for. I know. Well, money joking. I, there, that, how cool would that be? Like, oh yeah, there's yeah. cousins. I like my father's cousins. I haven't even met. And, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Just the, and whereabouts the, is it like? Just to discover the culture. Yeah, and yeah. The way of living over there. Yeah, and Santiago, you know, Chile. Yeah. Was it? That's mad. Yeah. Santiago. <gasps> He told me so much before I met him fixing the bus in Nina, and he told me a lot about that stuff. I'd love to. I'd love to get him on talk. Yeah. About oh, it. he's he's fair like. Very knowledgeable about yeah. things and that's a wisdom. They came to Shannon, yeah, doesn't it? Shannon in the seventies. Shannon, yeah, they emigrated to Shannon in the seventies. Wasn't they were it? the first Chileans to emigrate to Shannon during Pinochet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, dictators. Yeah, you know, dictators. Pinochet was a dictator, and they had to flee the country. But Whoa. them and a few other yeah. Chilean families came over with them. That's class. And they just they stayed in Shannon, you know. Wow. Yeah. Um, My uncle lived where, in Shannon as well. Yeah. yeah, I have a good few cousins over yeah. there. Um, She's my nana. Yeah. My nana is living down there as well. I must go see her soon. Yeah. Mm. What whereabouts in Shannon do they live? Uh, they live by, do you know when you're just coming into Shannon? Yeah. And you take a left at the traffic lights. Yeah. Just after the Lodge uh, Hotel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in around there. Do you well, know? Um, but cool. even that, Alan, like, in terms of like having a future focus and stuff and something to plan mm. for and aim for and a bit of a purpose, you know, yeah. always mm. having purpose and something to do in different aspects of your life is really important, yeah. not just career and job and things. It is. Yeah. But yeah. that's such a huge aim because yeah. there's such a strong like connection. Realistic for you goals. There. Do you know yeah. realistic? Yeah, yeah. yeah, for where you're at. Yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely. Like, I, I haven't seen, like, I definitely want to go traveling and yeah. start, you know, trying to do a bit of charity work and stuff like that. Um, my father was big into it and he kind of instilled it kind of into me. Was he an amnesty or something? Yeah, he, he, he was uh, He was part of like um, an amnesty international. Yeah, 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 I remember every Christmas we used to get a stall and go down to Dunn's. Yeah. Do a stall there with bracelets and candles. and Brilliant. Mm. You know, but I used to love and then to do a quiz like once a year. In, uh, Hickey's, was it? No, in, oh, um, in Cashel and Brian Brew. Oh, sorry, it? right. Yeah, and just stuff like that. Just but does. that's yeah. No, that's that's who my father but, is. And yeah. Yeah, he's instilled a f he has instilled a few good things into me, you know. Yeah. Especially having a strong so especially having a strong mentality and Yeah, yeah he does. You know, yeah, definitely yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. When he came over here like you know, like Race, like a lot of people be racist and yeah because he was, know, i was even called racist names growing up yeah you know, and i was born and, and he would have been what was he was saying was it i don't know i don't get the year wrong what was it when he when he moved over what 70s was it i think it was in the mid 70s yeah and so he was and he was really young and a chilean and he was saying that and he was in the school in the middle of nowhere like and oh uh, yeah you say that's what kind of moved him to start boxing i think he was telling me that or something like that cause yeah, start off yeah. club and all that. Yeah, some amount of trophies. Yeah, mm. for boxing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's really, yeah. He taught me that as well. You know, yeah, for a few. Like I done a lot of sports when I was kind of younger as well, mm. and it's one of the things I kind of regret is falling out of um, passion for. You know, because the sports kind of grounded me in a way. Mm. And wait, is that something you never talked? Sorry about joining like a like a yeah, kickboxing I done, club. Like, I played anything, soccer. Yeah. I done kickboxing. I done boxing yeah, for yeah. years. Um, you know, my father was training me yeah boxing kind of didn't get we kind of didn't really get along though it was kind of weird yeah, yeah. Being, do you know because if you have a little fight with him there that'd go home and yeah do you know but it was definitely it's not like the training club that you can go get away from it home, taught me like. somewhat of um to have um discipline yeah because it's a very disciplined sport yeah but even like me growing up through the years oh, like <clears throat> i haven't done boxing in over 10 years but if i got in trouble I was in a fight a few years ago. Mm. I had to be bought up. Yeah, yeah. Get me. Yeah. He's a trained 
you know, fighter, even though I haven't done it in over 10, 10 yeah. years. But mm. yeah, it's kind of, it doesn't kind of look good, yeah, you could say. But yeah, yeah no, definitely mean, yeah. sports. You know, sports for anyone is good. And mm. I think if you mix yourself around people who are playing sports, you have a good. Definitely, yeah. You have a good <laughs> chance in life. Do you know, hmm. you stick at it. It's one of my biggest regrets because but I'll you prob- still do it. Like, ah, yeah, no but um, because because probably could have like became something though. Do you know? Because I kind of had yeah, I know what you mean. I had it yeah. in me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I just didn't. Yeah, I was just too busy getting meeting up with women and getting getting stoned and do you know? Mm. That was yeah, my, yeah. That was my life, like as well. Yeah. It's. I look back in it, and it's been. Yeah. It's, look, I don't regret any of it. To be honest with you, mm. you know, I won't yeah. be the person I am today. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If if, if I wasn't through the things I've been through, and to know, that's just the way it is. When you ever, do you know, what's interesting. Look up. Uh, I. What would you type in if you just look up like uh, maybe like celebrities or athletes or something like that that celebrities and just look up celebrities and athletes to start late like, you will be surprised like of like some of the biggest people in the world like morgan freeman had his first chant when you fit movie when he was like 54 or something like that and i think that's really in like 30s You're it's, a lot few, it's really young like it's only a few years I actually watch me, like. i like watching on on um it's denzel actually denzel washington, denzel washington he's, he's amazing he yeah. does an inspiration video i actually he's put class. it on every couple of weeks when i'm feeling yeah. really like class yeah and feeling real down and like have no motivation. Was that like the talk he did at college or something? He's learned loads of cool, he said loads of cool things though. He just catch him in yeah, interviews. Yeah, he's in the college and, and, like, and he's yeah. graduate. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, close. Yeah. And he just oh, says some great. stuff that just sticks. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. What else? Uh, yeah. There was, um, there was a thing on uh, just that I saw online or whatever to give me a bit of a boost was like the young entre- entrepreneur is a myth. You know the way everyone says, "Oh, you, you're tw- you become twenty year old." old there's and a, you, there's you, a young entrepreneur on Dragon's Den. Yeah, right? yeah, but I like everyone, we all assume in your twenties you become a millionaire and all this kind of thing. That's actually a myth. The young CEO, sorry, is a myth. The percentages of young CEOs are really small. Most people only get going in their forties and fifties. Yeah, most of them yeah. probably go overnight through. success takes most ten, of, yeah. most ten of years. The su- successful mm. entrepreneurs never went to school or that's true. Yeah, that's they true. left school and yeah, yeah, they were yeah. told they were going to be. So you have there. a lot more time than you think you have. Everyone thinks if I didn't make it by yeah. the twenties, yeah. oh, that, that's it's a fact. Yeah. You, you actually most people don't make it till their forties or fifties. I think like definitely your twenties and thirties are just about learning. They're you know, about learning about life you know, and right, yourself. Yeah, right now tw- I'm still learning. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm still learning. I know we learn every day and you know Tony Ryan from Turles who started Ryanair yeah he didn't uh, he was working into his 40s he didn't start his own business until his late 40s I think it was he started in his Pete Aviation he didn't start Ryanair I think until he was in about his 60s Mm. you know what I mean so you've age is only a number that's it Uh, you have a lot more time than you think you have definitely I actually was only thinking about that with the whole so with you with the you know what I said like about the book or you know uh, wanting to be uh, or to be able to do to be a, a counsellor um, if you look at the like people that probably have become counsellors or people who uh, did write a book they didn't write it 26 months after the addiction no. and that's where you're at yeah. they went through the same process that you go through so it's important just to plant the seeds and they're like maybe long-term things that just have in your back of mind that even to say that you can do it because i guarantee you like you know your real story like you can't like all those addiction books and like that you can guarantee they're written five ten years ten, even ten years after the thing but then we have this like sort of misconception that they that that it was all done in a day because we only see that moment of it like of or oh, that person, we only hear about it after they bring out the book. So then we have this like uh, de- de- delusion of like, well, they just, they just, that they were just an addict yesterday. And it was like, no, there's a real process to it all. And it's it's the same thing. It's like, it's the whole overnight it's success that, takes it's 10 that years. It's of like information becomes knowledge becomes wisdom. Yeah. Because you have and to you process yeah, it all. Yeah, and then, you can't until you've reached a point of yeah. wisdom with it. Like you can't effectively write on something yeah. in a way that kind of Definitely. draws people. Yeah. Up. And you will, I can it see it. It like, takes um, years, yeah. It just doesn't happen over but yeah. even, uh, You don't have to get there either. It's enjoying the process and the journey. Exactly, yeah. It is, yeah. It is. But yeah. Um, yeah. It's just the pe- you meet uh, some amazing people along the way, though, as well. Absolutely. You know, you do. Um, You're referring to us, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Geez, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, um, I remember walking into the room doing the first podcast and I right. seen I seen Haley. I was like oh god what? people <laughs> always think that when they see me no it wasn't at that oh god it was like I know this girl from 
the, the, the uh, mental health yeah. <laughs> service or whatever. Service. Uh, and I was yeah, like, often. Ah, oh, yeah. cringe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, hey, do you I get what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every, week, every week <laughs> I come in here and I go, oh God, there's your one from the mental health <laughs> clinic. <laughs> so I hope you don't say anything about it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see her though. Me neither, but she's in my house every Saturday. (laughs) 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 I was on a supervised visit. (laughs) Checking in on Hugh. That's why she's here. Like what you were saying about like um, the guards and like, you know, kind of sort of it's a difficult part of the job because in a way your job is to kind of like acknowledge where somebody's at and sort of do your job, mm. but you know, also try and maintain that way of seeing them as something different and better and beyond where they are. Mm. That's a massive part of my job. Like every time a person comes in, you have to start off with a clean slate. You have to bear in mind what you've read in the file, how you've met that person before, but you also have to maintain that window, a good window of, how open, you see that person could be kind of yeah thing. like you yeah. you have to hold a potential for that person in your mind or you couldn't ever fucking do anything to help anyone and honestly there's days when that's really fucking hard oh, i believe it uh, you know um but if if you can't maintain that you can't do the job because you could never believe that you could continue to help people or do anything good or that there was any point in in seeing that person ever again. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah, otherwise um, what would be the point at all? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I do like, yeah, I remember where you were at and that's why it's yeah. so and fucking that's why nice. I was saying it was crazy you know? like, because I As remember going into like uh, for a chat with you one day and I was, I, I was off my face like, do you know, yeah. and it was just like not just oh, the once, Alan. <laughs> I only remember the once. That's the funny thing about yeah, it. yeah. You know, but, but do you know what's fucking what's not cringe is this, this, mm. and this. how far you have this come, real, like, and to be sitting mad, here mad. doing it's this real. now. Do you know, this is a real like, conversation. Like, this, yeah, this yeah. Conversation. But this is in this is in you, like from where you are, what, like what you're saying yeah, is like yeah. from where you are to now. Like, like that's this is like mad. to go from that to this to be sitting here having a conversation like this you know how you are now in this situation okay, I mean, man most people can't do that like no I know. I, yeah. and i've talked about doing it for years like yeah, yeah. i've never yeah. put it into action you know and to be here now like I, honest to god it's the most overwhelming thing i've yeah. ever experienced like mm. i i really love it Scary, because like, you know when people my... say to when patients come in and say to me you know like I, they can't do it or that you know they're not they can't commit or like they've come out of treatment for whatever reason yeah. there's always reasons and excuses reasons how it like wh- however people want to see it yeah you know they're genuine to that person at that time you know um but i love that some of those people are going to be getting to see you on this yeah. and yeah. see what you have As done I and for tur- like, that's brilliant a lot of people would have seen me falling around yeah and like looking completely spaced out in my head yeah which it was and if i can be like uh benzo addiction f- like yeah valium uh weed smoking crack yeah um to know drinking gambling yeah, yeah. To know, like i was uh, like they were all my addictions you know yeah and yeah it, it's crazy because it was just a mad cycle I used to go into. You know, one would feed the other, really. And mm. I never thought, honestly, like, it's, it's it's mad saying it. I never, I've often dreamt of where I'd be at today. And I've never dreamed I'd be this far, even. You know? So yeah. it's better than why you'd... It's like really even, overwhelming. That's class. Like, yeah. It's kind of, it's emotional mm. for me. Yeah, of yeah. course it would be, yeah. Because there was a lot of tears, blood, blood, sweat and tears, you know. Yeah. Of bad days and I've to get where i'm at like you know yeah. and to face things that i didn't want to face and yeah face yeah them head on yeah i didn't fucking run away i stuck with it yeah you know, when the when the tough was getting was when when it, the going was getting tough when the, the going tough was, was getting, tough, getting going yeah i, I didn't always forget that one plowing, mm. yeah yeah and i fucking came out the other side yeah mm. and it, it, yeah, I know if I can do that, I can do it. Like, yeah, you know, definitely, definitely. Yeah. You know, and anyone yeah. can. Anyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone battling an addiction, battling anything, there's so much light at the end of the tunnel. It, it, it keeps getting brighter. That's mm. you know yeah. what I mean. That's my analogy of it. Like it, like life. My life has hasn't stopped getting. Like my life has got better and better each time, day by day. 
by just being clean and sober. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's class. Yeah. Every day has. is a success. Yeah. Like. Money, money can't buy it. Nothing yeah, can yeah. buy you like what yeah. I have. Yeah, and just the gratitude I have, you know. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's just it really is. It's very fucking. That's class. And that, that's horrible. the thing that you carry in you wherever you go. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of your circumstances, that's what you bring to the table. Exactly. Just by oh. being you, that's fucking amazing. And there's a that's more a massive of a glow to me. There's more of a, like I it, feel like I feel like Alan. Again, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I haven't felt like Alan in fucking years. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I have. I didn't even know who Alan was. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you get what I'm saying. That's that's right. And yeah. Yeah. It just it's nice to be able to sit in my own company as well and sit around people. That's you know, nice. as nervous as I am. Yeah, it's not as bad as what I used to be like. And you said you were ner- as nervous as last year at this before we started. You said you were as nervous coming on as you were last year, but I definitely noticed an even twice the amount of glow. And last yeah. year you were doing really well yeah. from our you know perspective, but even now is like twice the glow. Like you're fucking shining, man. You're doing well, like, yeah. and um, thank yeah, you very much. I think I you're fucking it, honestly, brilliant. Like, thanks there's a, million a definite for having kind me kind of. Yeah. Yeah sense that like your sort of inner strength is growing yeah. every it is. day yeah, it is and next year i can't wait to see what like i'm looking forward to this yeah. time next year already it's like gonna be more than christmas yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's another year yeah another yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You no know, i don't know where i'm going but i'm going but, somewhere yeah going. you yeah. are man to get what i'm saying 100 yeah. percent yeah and that, and that's and yeah exactly a, what you it, said it's you don't privilege. know where you're going but you know it's good that's what i want to say it's an absolute privilege to be asked to come onto this podcast because i do see the work you do and um, you're doing you're doing an amazing job, do you know, Holly. And yeah. you should be proud of yourself from where you came from, you know. Yeah, so and man. you're still fucking going. And yeah, so until like everyone that, else realizes that. I like that, that determination <laughs> and that drive. Grit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive, you know, because uh, yeah, thanks. You man. need people like you, you know. Yeah. If, if no, there wasn't people like you, I wouldn't be able to share my story, or people mm. wouldn't be able to share yeah. their their stories or their lives or yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. Whatever yeah. important to so, them. Yeah. Yeah, no, so man. Actually, we'll finish up yeah, on that uh, lovely note. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and um, yeah, thanks for coming on, man. Anyway, thanks and uh, we'll yeah. see. You'll see you next year. We're all going to see Alan again next year, and uh, yeah, and he's going to be doing it better every time in his class. And it's a really cool thing, and it's re- it's actually just made me realize how cool it's get being able to do this in a different way. You now, um, but yeah, anyway, thanks thanks everyone for watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Um, it will, you you only have to eat, drink seven glasses of water. It's like drinking a glass of water, pressing the subscribe button. That's how important it is. And it makes us feel loved. Yeah, it makes us feel loved. Because mm-hmm. our value is all numerical. It's all, our value is based on numbers. That's how we value ourselves. That's a joke. Um, right. Um, so you don't have to hit the subscribe button if you're too if you're tired, or whatever, it's okay. We'll see you next week. Um bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Man, that was good. Thanks very That's much. Us. I yeah. actually enjoyed it. of strawberry medicine as it runs down my neck I feel it draw me in and when it settles settles on my mind just know you'll find me find me there inside